I want to see new types of literature, new ways of telling stories, new interfaces for developing stories and interacting with them. The convergence of my interests in the form of word camera. It was about finding an algorithm that could describe a scene where it was only describing things you could see. And I thought, you know, one way to do that would be having it start with a photograph. And the result ends up being, uh, you know, an eight-line poem about the image you captured uh, that appears in real time on your phone. I oftentimes put a computer inside of an antique camera because I feel like they communicate to the user that this is a primitive version of something that might have rich potential, or you really feel a connection to this device that has been used for so many years by traditional photographers and is now being used to create an entirely new experience. It's very much like a Polaroid in that you, know, you take a picture and it prints out a poem on the back of the camera on a receipt. It basically is able to take in a set of pixels and learn inherent patterns in those pixels over time. One of those image captions forms the beginning of every line in the poem, and then they are expanded into complete sentences using that poetic language neural net. Even though the output was really choppy and weird, because it was so clearly inspired by the imagery, people still connected with it. I am an artist currently serving as the creative technologist for the Artists and Machine Intelligence program at Google. Before that, I was a writer, specifically a political ghost writer. I worked on the Obama campaign 2008, and then at the White House for a year, and then at Treasury for two years, writing everything from letters to proclamations to speeches. And I sort of got burned out, and I learned to code. In many ways, I'm still a writer and a photographer. I just use different tools. Benjamin is the name of the robot that wrote Sunspring. It was our screenplay machine that I developed in collaboration with Oscar Sharp. That was a big, honest idea. We didn't know what was gonna come out of that machine the day we made Sunspring. We really didn't. When I first met Ross Goodwin, he was sitting there with a laptop that had a poem on the screen that was writing itself. And I was like, that's amazing. And like, Ross, can we do it for screenplays? And he went, we can try. We'd prepared Benjamin by training it on lots of screenplays. Sometimes Benjamin will write things that are just really contradictory. And he is standing in the stars and sitting on the floor. That shot looks like that because, well, he's doing both. So there have to be two of him. It's No Game was sort of our attempt to demonstrate the augmentative capacity of the machine. This time we trained Benjamin on specific writers or characters. So we had Aaron Sorkin, we called that the Sorkinator. We had uh, Shakespeare or Robo Bard, and then David Hasselhoff came on board. So we basically put all of Hasselhoff's performances from the 80s and 90s into the machine. We called that the Hoffbot. Dangerous world of a man who does not exist. One of the best things about working with Ross is that I can throw out the maddest notion of that we should do, and he catches that ball and then starts deconstructing it and figuring out how it might be achieved. Can AI create the next blockbuster? I think it's a matter of time. What's more likely is a human augmented by AI creating a blockbuster like no one's ever seen. My ultimate goal is moving the discussion forward on literature and AI. Why write with a pen when you can write with a camera? The invention of the camera in the 19th century, people thought that it was gonna kill painting. In reality, it probably set painting free. And so I think that one of the things I'm trying to do with my work is set writing free. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.